Hello, everybody. Welcome to another week of uh, the Week in Technology. Um, I'm your host, uh, Karamjit Singh, along with my co-host, uh, Ms. Aisha Mustafa. And I'd like to welcome you to the show. As usual, we will start off uh, with the cover story for the coming week, which is on uh, two entrepreneurs, two brothers, who have actually been in the business for 10 years now, Aisha. So this, this year marks the 10th anniversary. And the company is called uh, InSynchro. Um, some of you may be aware of them. In the early days, they started out wanting to do a uh, CAD software uh, on web base, and they claimed that at that time it was. That's would have very been ambitious, actually, because CAD is a very heavy software. Especially in year 2000, they started off in 99, you know, and then by the time they get going, it's year 2000, they started developing the software. I think uh, I saw an article um, searching the web that said they had invested like 2 million ringgit on it. But then I don't think it worked because uh, when I met them recently, they were not talking about the CAD software, but they're talking about what they've done so far in the business. Mm -hmm. and, and really all entrepreneurs can learn from them is that... So what do they do now? Well, uh, the, the, uh, they're doing still software, but they also, like I was saying, all entrepreneurs can learn from them, and which is that they said they stayed lean throughout the 10 years, you know. Uh, they didn't invest unnecessarily and they were nimble also and they focused on being innovative. So the innovative part is where, you know, they adapted. I think when, when the CAD software didn't work, they came on and they were still developing software, but they got into uh, the project management business. And from the end of this, uh, they became a reseller for a company out of the U.S. whose software is called Primavera. And according to them, this is like the leading software in the world, you know, for project management for certain verticals. And they got in there and they started also obviously implementing it. And along the way, they, they improved on their skills and they, uh, they, they even became uh, consulting too, uh, started consulting on project management. And the interesting thing is that because of their cost base in Malaysia and the skill set that they acquired, uh, Primavera reseller in Australia and even in Singapore and now in the Middle East have started using them you know, as their, uh, their so-called uh, uh, integration partners. So these three countries will make the sale and then when it comes time to doing integration and, and customer consulting, and the guys from Malaysia, you know, uh, from InSynchro will fly down and do the work for them. Uh, so it, it's worked out very well for them and they're really pleased with how that's going. But aside from that, talking about the software development, they've also developed their own enterprise search engine. And obviously, anytime you say search engine, everybody's going to think of that one particular company out there, right? And what, what is this guy's differentiator? Basically, they've said that they've developed their own search engine, which is an enterprise for companies to use in-house. Uh, the key thing is the cost value, you know. It's obviously going to be quite uh, uh, extremely um, uh, attractive from a cost value proposition. They have done that. And they've got surprisingly quite a number of Malaysian government clients too. All right. So and, and one of the clients is, if those of you notice, you know, there's a picture of uh, the Prime Minister's office in the background. And uh, PM, PMO.gov.my uh, has been a customer of theirs for a, a number of years now. Oh, all right, okay. So they're doing that. And also, uh, they're now trying to come up with a mobile version for the same, uh, you know, uh, enterprise uh, search it's engine portal, software. Yeah. So that's a work in progress. They're optimistic about it. And they're also applying for grants now. They've been running the business for the last 10 years without uh, getting any I think, grants. I uh, search is a very sexy technology that you okay. know everybody wants to jump because simply because of that one big name. I know that uh, Mimos also is working on some semantic search you know yeah. in their in their uh, nooks and cranny of their research lab so you know it's 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 I think the money is definitely there because it's something that's very useful but at the same time I, I also think that you know it's it's a very sexy thing yeah. <laughs> that people like to you know it's, it's it gets attention well i think entrepreneurs are brave if they want to wade into you know the space of this one particular giant you know internet company which we shall not name because it's so obvious but okay aside from that we're also talking uh, pcom also sent us a press release uh, we extremely rarely run press releases but this pcom press release was time to coincide with najib taking over and they are uh, emphasize, reinforcing their plea that they feel there should be one ICT agency, you know, in charge of um, information, yeah. technology, communications, innovation. So, Aisha, what do you think about, you know, what uh, they saying? Well, in my four months of experience, uh, I, I, I see it making sense because uh, currently it's uh, ICT is under two ministries, which is the... Uh, uh, MOSTI and communications, telecommunications yeah. falls under KTAP. Yeah. You know, so it's it's a uh, an ICT is growing bigger. You know, you cannot do any business without delving into IT. You know, yeah. 
you want to open a coffee shop you're thinking of you know having a Wi-Fi hotspot you know so ICT is becoming very important in Malaysia so um, it makes sense to have it under one ministry an ICT ministry and this is done it was done it's currently the way in okay. India I mean Australia they all have an ICT ministry and um, you know Najib coming up as Prime Minister I think and he's also going to reshuffle his cabinet he yes. say, well according to him he's going to make it lean and mean so you know that really ties in with having one ICT ministry instead of sort of you know uh, uh, two separate ministries and having to work parallel across and I don't know honestly I I doubt whether you know um, right now having two ministries whether you know uh, parallel activities have been much of a help or like you know they've managed to collaborate successfully you know that's that's much to be said so you know I think a lot of the industry players have also stressed also that yeah that they would like um, ICT under one ministry simply because you know it's so much easier and you know and like I say um, ICT has been uh, identified as a key growth for our economy yep. and it's also it's just it's just too important, too important yeah. yeah it needs to have its own ministry so we'll see how it goes I mean next week uh, we're gonna get a contribution piece from uh, team on the importance of having a CIO for the nation too so yeah, okay, yeah. we'll look forward to what Seeing they say that, um, US I think have their first CIO yeah, so which is a uh, yeah so um, and then I think we will also be following up and, and doing a story on this you know uh, pretty soon about the, the need for one you know ICT industry. Okay, uh, we'll go on um, from there. Yeah, yes. you just came back from Japan because I've had to do the last two shows of my <laughs> own. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. Well, I, Japan was interesting. I guess uh, the thing that struck me in Japan is, you know, hey, everybody uses mobile phones, right? And people prefer to uh, uh, use their mobile phones for the means uh, to communicate even via the internet too with email. So, you know, that was pretty interesting. And I, I share with you this anecdote. I was uh, in a town at the foothills of Mount Fuji and we were heading back towards Tokyo and uh, this guy got in half an hour after the journey which means that we're still two hours away from Tokyo comes in there opens up his uh, EEE PC which is uh, a netbook and, he's, and he had uh, his dongle in there and throughout the two hour journey we were in semi rural areas but you know he was connected to the internet seamlessly and he was just doing his work so was, he got in two hours of work you know, uh, before even stepping into the office, and I was, I was pretty impressed with that. And people are always glued to their mobile phones, you know. It's not all to the ears, you know, but right in front of them. And I, I saw a, a, a family, you know, entertaining their kid with the, with the phone, you know, going flip, and they were watching, you know, a, a movie on, on, on that little, you know, four-inch screen. So, pretty neat. Well, I think, yeah, I mean, convergence has been something that's predicted all along. You know, devices are getting smaller, and, you know. Absolutely. Oh, I, that's the thing. In Japan, the devices are not smaller. Their mobile phones are pretty big, you know, this is the land of, of miniaturization, you think, but no, their mobile phones have to be a, of a certain size, you know, and I think the screen size is at least uh, uh, four inches long, you know, and about two and a half inches wide, so it's pretty comfortable for them to watch, so that's a misnomer, or it's a misconception that you think, you know, uh, uh, phones in Japan are small, uh, most everyone uses large phones, actually, but great, okay, uh, I think that's all the time we have for this week. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I think we've seen that uh, viewership has gone up, right, Aisha? Uh, by maybe about 10, 20. <laughs> okay, uh, 20,000, yeah, let's just exaggerate that a little <laughs> bit. But again, you know, please engage with us and help us mold the show into the show you want to view, you would, would like to invest uh, 10 minutes of your time in. And, you know, it's a work in progress. We're not saying that we're polished, you know, uh, uh, broadcast professionals, but, you know, it's, it's a bit casual. It's, it's, easy. More, it's more like a bidang terjun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, send us your feedback. Like we said before, you know, no matter how offensive or uh, sharp they are, you yeah. know, we, we accept we them. them. In fact, yeah, we, we like it. Excellent. Okay. Okay, have a great and productive week ahead with technology, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.